Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Menu True Nerd, and welcome back to Prey, where, well, we're not actually where we were at the end of last time, of course, that was just the little intro. This is, I'm told by Bethesda, about an hour later, this took place at their event again, just like yesterday. So, uh, this is about an hour later, so I've got a little bit more now, in fact, yeah, now I've got my slow time ability there, I think it's called Combat Focus, officially, so watch out for the slow time ability there, and we are, yeah, here in the guts. The tunnels underneath. The game's just done the dramatic music. Like, you know, I just saw something scary. I'm not sure what the game thinks I've seen. Was it just a mimic or that corpse? Because I've seen so many mimics and corpses today, I've totally got over that by now. Though I will gladly take some nice ammo off your corpse there, Otto. Thank you very much. Now, spot of glue makes the platform. Climb up, climb up, climb up. Oh, I like the platforms you create with the glue gun. Those are good, yes. So, security station here. Can't get in there without a code. Fine, may have to come back for a code later or something. And we definitely saw a mimic somewhere around here. So, where are they? Right, changing rooms or preparation. Can't get in that way. Would need strength two to get in there. And uh, nowhere to clamber over the top. Fine, so that's presumably a shortcut that I would be able to take. Instead, we have got in here... Oh, hello there! Ooh, you're named your Crispin boy. Fine, freeze you, charge up a strike, blow your... Oh, yes, that's nice. And it actually gets him down. And while he's down the ground, I can glue him again. Oh, but he still gets a flipping shot in. Right, get the glue thing. Oh, we've got some basic mimics as well. Right, freeze you, get you down nice and quick. Lovely, you go down in one when frozen. Now... Where'd the big lad go? Right, he's around there because I can see his attention thing through the wall. So, glue, 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 glue. No, that was a bad time to reload. Right, now glue him and... Oh, bloody hell. Right, he can fire the engine at me. I think he's almost glued. Oh, no, I've blocked the... I've blocked the doorway. <laughs> Get way through. You know, I just keep going for him. Whack him, finish him off, and... No. Ooh, he's run for it. That's what I like. The enemies in this game do seem to actually just kind of make a run for it if they feel like they're completely outgunned, which is kind of cool. Right, reload. No sign of him here. Yeah, I think he's either backed off or possibly he died because they do kind of disintegrate, but I'm not sure where the body is if so. Ah, gone through, but now I can get through to the other changing room from this side. And ah, we've run into you again. Okay, so that's where you retreated to. Got it. And now you're all glued up and a big smash should one shot you now. Very nice. Okay. So, that was the same guy. So if I had strength two, I could have just moved to the crate and then I could have skipped this guy here. Ooh, but... Found a hole in the ground and also an Alice and Brody. So we'll just grab your stuff. We'll be back for you in a second, don't worry. You know what? Maybe we'll just give that a flush there. There we go, lovely. Right, so down to the under section here. Got ourselves a med kit, good. But what's down... What's down here? We've got... Ah! Cargo. Yeah, if I had strength three, I could actually... Oh, bloody hell. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Glue, 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 and guns, and glue, and guns. And probably turn the flashlight on a second. I can't bloody see. That's better. Oh, I don't know what I'm seeing, though. Guys, just be glued. There you are. You're glued. Right, glue you. Much of the glue lasts forever. I think it partly... There we go. Right, you're glued. Right, charge up. Smash. Charge up. Smash. Lovely. And that's your... That's your lot. Good. So, looks like potentially, yeah, probably I go straight on, or if I come down here, with strength three, there's... There's a mimic somewhere in here. Oh, no, sorry, you're already glued. You're fine. Good, good, good. Right, glued, and smash you. Very good. Now, you've got a psychoscope. Okay, what's this? No, don't just grab a psychoscope. If it's called a psychoscope, don't just put it on, all right? That's a bad name for a thing. Ah, so it's like the camera in Bioshock. Fine, scan things like presumably do more damage, learn their weaknesses. Got it. And scanning Typhon also reveals new abilities you can acquire. Oh, I suspect all of the fun abilities. Ah, I think I see now why Bethesda jumped me forward to here. This is where the second half of the abilities come into effect. Because it's not just the flipping, just scientist and engineer. There's also all the Typhon skills and hello up there. Right, something up there is totally a... Ah! Okay, that's interesting. So now I know that box over there is a mimic. 
Right, or at least possibly I think there might be a second Mimic as well. Uh, okay, fine, so with the Psychoscope, would you just hold still for a second? Just don't attack me for one second. I'm just, I'm just scanning you for one second. There we are, scan done, now glue you. I probably should have glued him first, actually. That would have been the more sensible way to do it. Yeah, the Psychoscope can actually see when an item is actually a Mimic. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think that's how that works. And now I've got all these new abilities, not just Scientist, Engineer, and Security, but Energy, Morph, and Telepathy. And that's the one I want right there, the Mimic, though. Okay, fine. Until you've done Sun Scanning, you don't even know what it is. So I don't know what any of these abilities are, except for it's an unknown ability that would require Neuromod. So same currency to unlock it, but Mimic. Yes, I now know that one of the spells is Mimic, because I've scanned a Mimic. So I can actually camouflage myself by taking the form of a nearby object, uses two Psy per second, but I can't unlock it yet. I must need to do more scanning first. Right, I can't go that way because I don't have strength three. So time to clamber out of here, glue gun if necessary. So can I clamber on top of you? Nope, struggling a bit. Right, give myself a little bit more glue to climb up there and come on, come on. there we go, lovely. Oh, hello there, science operator. Can I scan you as well? Oh, I can. I can scan everything. Fine. So give you a scan. And now I know. Ah, so now I've learnt your weaknesses and resistances. Okay, that's cool. So I've no idea what a null wave is, but don't use it on one of these lads. Gotcha. Ah, and a science operator, okay, would top up my size, so the thing that lets me use, say, like, the combat focus, for example. So, there's medical bots, and there's engineering bots, and there's side bots, and they top up your various things. Oh, I am so ready for that, Alex. Yeah, um, but the reason I forgot was because you kept not doing the thing where you gave me a refresher on what I'd done before you reset the Neuromod, which you were supposed to do, and a previous me specifically called you out on, so I feel like that one's on you, Alex. So, we've got a bunch of containment cases here. Crack open the shield, and I can potentially scan what's inside this one. One might be empty, actually. Fine, yeah, there's nothing in there. So just keep cracking them open. One of these is going to break out of the glass. Tankwood says one of these four containers, two on the side, two on the other. Something's gonna break out and jump scare me because it's just too flipping obvious. Right, so you are a lovely basic thing there. And now I know your basic weaknesses, which is glue. You're weak to glue. Good, I like glue. Glue's hilarious. Crack open the containment shields. Back off just in case. I'm nervous here. Right, keep scanning you. Immune to EMP though. Got it. Weak to glue, immune to EMP. Lovely. And now I've got new Sonic Aptitude. Ooh. Kinet oh, not Kinetic Blast one. I mean, that sounds hilarious, but to be honest, I'm more interested in, yeah, the mimicry. So I think you just gave me the key to this office, but I don't want to do that. No, instead, I just want to smash the glue, because smashing glue is hilarious. Now Drake's office. Ah, small problem, though. Well, one, we've got some... Is that a note? Nope, that's not a note. That's around the back here. Yeah, we've got electricity, but the glue gun can temporarily short out that. So put some glue over there. And that area is now safe, lovely. And you yourself, biohazard waste, and a couple of... Ouch! Oh, bloody hell, yes, I know. Apparently the glue doesn't last, it wore off, back off. There we go, but I've still got the key card. Put some more glue over, no, there, that'll do the job. Right, top up health, and now I can explore a bit more here. Now really, this feels like a very temporary fix, like I probably... Oh yeah, I definitely can't actually flipping read the email, because the email happens in real time, it doesn't pause time at all. So, probably... Conference room, archive footage. You know what, I need to get out of here because I can literally hear the glue starting to break there. So I'm going to be like, yeah, you know what, I need to come up with a better solution. Maintenance access panel. Ah, okay. This is good. Right, head around here. Let's turn off the power. That way I stop being electrocuted. Nice. I've killed the lights though. Yeah, I've killed everything. So, uh, on the plus side now at least, yep, flashlight on. We've got, ah. Small problem, that's no longer electrocuting me, but the power's also been cut to the computers, so I can't read the terminal anyway, so what I need to do is, yeah, I need to cut the power, then use repair skill to repair that, then I could put the power back on, then I could read the terminals. But for the moment at least, I get myself a Neuromod fabrication, design things, I'm I can build new ones, and I get some Neuromods too.
like you might well get the bad ending, Morgan. You know what, I appreciate your concern past me, but I'm pretty sure I want the bloody amazing Typhon abilities, alright? Ah, still not quite on the Mimic. I'm still not just ready for Mimic. I'm ready for Kinetic Blast 1, but I'm not ready for Mimic yet, damn it. Hello, Science Operator. Excuse me, I don't need you right now. My sigh is already full up. Right. Let's head into the lab, see if I can find a few more specimens to scan upstairs from where I just was. Crack open the door. Let's go find some stuff. Ooh, more glue. Glue is useful. Marvellous. And in the meantime, also, we've got turrets. Scan those and we'll be able to... I mean, I don't know if you get actual damage boost, but, you know, knowing the weaknesses and maybe learning some stuff will be useful at least. Oh, something's in here. Right, give it a scan. Yep. And now I know that that over there is, in fact, a mimic down on the ground. So, just work around that for the time being. Oh, oh, hang on. Wait, I think one of them woke up. Just a sec, get the glue gum. Now, just, there you are, come after me, scan, 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 just don't attack me to your scan, there we are, I'm going to die in a second, right, we've scanned it, hopefully we've got, we've got Mimic Matter 1, yes, now glue it, glue, 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 lovely, smash it in the face, and, boom, nice, and I think that Mimic down on the ground is actually still there, that was the second one, yeah, this down here is a Mimic in disguise, but the Psychoscopes analysed it, so, I can literally pick it up. That's actually a mimic in disguise, but I can actually pick it up. You go over there now, screw you. You plan to wake up at some point. There you go, it decided to wake up. Right, go, 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 go. Let's just scan it, then glue it. We've got an office here. Warning, I've sealed several mimics inside, two casualties. Oh dear. Several of them. So, the door's locked. I need to break down the window and... What was that? That was just a rumbling, I don't like that. Fine, I need to break down the window if I want to get in. So, and oh, they weren't kidding. There's all of the mimics. Or maybe just kind of create a bit of a barrier on a temporary basis. You've got through. So I'm going to, no, state, accept your gluing. There you go, right. Just, if we can just bring them through one by one, that means I can take care of them pretty easily. So there's mimics in here. Just need to take you, bus out. Doesn't look like it's more than four or so, fine. So if one of you makes it through the window, oh, get some glue in. You know what, just hop up here, hop up here. Glue, 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 and glue, 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 and glue, glue, glue. Just stay still, oh, bastard. Right, one's made it through and then been glued, so smash you. Right, one down, I think three to go. Through here, and I think the glue does wear off, so you've definitely been glued. You were glued, then it wore off again, and there might be another one, but you know what, take you out. And then we'll just take the one out that's not glued yet. He's dead. And then we can just wrap up and... Ooh, the glue wore off you. Fine. Wait, wait. Don't kill me, you bastard. Oh, there's more than I was expecting. And down we go. Lovely. Oh, there's a phantom. And he's right beyond that door, isn't he? Yeah, there's a phantom. Grab the... Ooh, yes, ammo. Ammo is good. I think there might be two of them as well. Bloody hell. Right. Glue, 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 glue. Right. That's a good amount of glue. Now... Go over to an actual gun. Silence pistol. I haven't used this one yet. And, oh, that'll do good work, damn it. Yes. I'm pretty happy with that. Right. Back around the corner. Glue. Okay, he's wandered off. So now there's one over here. If I can. Ooh. He set off a fire thing there. Fine. Hopefully he just took a bit of damage by himself. Heal up a little bit more. Reload. Just need to get the glue on him. Manual. Now glue, 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 glue. Avoid the blast. Glue, 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 glue. Avoid the blast. Glue, glue, glue. And you've been glued, right? Yeah? Alright, good. Go over to a gun, shoot him in the face, and boom, 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 boom. Nice. This gun fires really bloody quickly, by the way. Now, there is another phantom somewhere, but ooh, Neuromod there, marvellous. This is definitely worth coming into for that. Yeah, another phantom somewhere, just don't know where yet. Think I hear another one in here. Yep, yes I do. Glue him, 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 glue him. And then, yep, lovely. And then, gun, 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 gun. Nice. Ooh, you were a named person as well. You're not just a phantom. You're actually a named converted person. Beautiful. And there was also an explosive thing there. I probably should have just shot the explosive thing. That would have been better. Operator dispenser. That strikes me as good. Ah, yes, request operator times three. Okay, so basically, I can send out what's presumably a single-use operator who can give me a full health top. I can do that three times. Very good. There we go. Full topped up health. Lovely. Now, time for the crucial thing. Morph, mimic matter, camouflage yourself by taking the form of nearby objects. Oh, yes, I want to spend my points on that. 
And sadly, I can't have the next rank yet. I think I need to do some more research before I'm allowed. Including mimicking turrets. Ooh, so right now I can only mimic small items, but later I can kind of mimic bigger, more exciting, sexy items. But, you know what? I'm kind of more excited about mimicking the small items anyway. This is pretty much why I wanted to play this game full stop, because I heard that you could turn yourself into tiny little items, and I really, really want to do that. No, seriously, let them. It's so badass. Right, possession vision. I could be a mug or... Oh, I could Ooh, be a chair. Yes, I'm going to be a chair. I shall be the chair. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, now <laughs> I am the chair. I am the chair. So, I can move. I can cancel any time. Hey, I managed to get myself upright. And then I fell over again because <laughs> there's the chair can just bounce along. Probably best if I just try and bounce along, to be honest. Right, now through here. Do the doors... Yes. The doors will obey the chair, through it, down, here, there we go. <laughs> now, now I am just a chair. Now I shall just be the chair, beautiful. Now, can I get there? I need to get the chair up there. Up, oh, get, 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 look, I'm busy, I'm a chair, stop calling me. And, and, come on, yeah, nice, up the stairs. And, oh no, my side ran out. Oh, that's the saddest thing. Right, what I need to do is I need to use the Psy Hypos while I'm actually going around. Hang on, staircase of this. There we go, made a little staircase of glue. I need to use the Hypos while I'm actually in the form. Here it is. This is what I really want. Now I am a mug. Oh, hang on, the handle, the handle is not really working correctly, but whatever. I am now a mug, and actually, if you just get yourself rolling this way... You can actually get some decent speed up as a mug, and the doors do slow open for you. Marvellous. Keep topping up with the Psy Hypos. Now, question one. Currently, I am a ceramic mug, and there's a big drop here. If I throw myself off the edge, can I shatter myself? And if so, do I die? No, I have survived the fall. <laughs> I am an invincible mug. I'm a special psychic mug, so it's fine. Just need to... Oh, oh. <laughs> Tiny things on the floor are now major obstacles. <laughs> I get to play as a mug. This is the best thing. In oh, these are, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> right, keep topping up the high post. Right, okay. Okay, now I need to... No, no, I can't just jump. I need to actually time this correctly. So, I need to be up the stairs. Right, get the camera around. So, back off. Jump. Okay, back off. Jump. And then... No, no, back off a little bit more. Now, up. There we go. Back, back, back. No, 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 no. Camera around. Okay. Treat this now like a side-scrolling platformer, but where you're a mug, and just keep doing this. This is such a waste of side hypos. Whatever. Right, up. Back. No. No. Okay, back again. Back up to get it to here. Right, now. Up top. Back and up top. I've made it up the stairs. I am the mug king. All hail the mug king. Now, as a mug, am I, res I am resistant to fire. I am resistant to fire as a mug, and this corridor is full of flaming things. I can just go directly underneath them. Which is marvellous. And the Mimics, they don't attack me. They don't attack me and because I didn't turn off the flames myself, they just run into the flames and all died. Oh, being a mug's the best thing. Ah, but I see something up there I think I want to actually do. So I need to stop being a mug for a second, which is a shame. And sadly, when you stop being something, because it was literally you, you don't actually get it anymore. So it kind of, you can't become a mug again afterwards. Let's just quickly glue up that. Now, here... I see. If I just do that, yeah, there's going to be a small gap here. Now, I would normally have to, like, find a way round to get actually kind of through to the armory. But, if I use my psychic powers, uh, now I'm... I don't know what the bloody hell I am, but I can fit through the hole. So now, I'm inside the armory, and now I can pop out of being whatever the bloody hell that was. Help myself to... Oh, yes. Any plan that ends with me having a shotgun and a ton of shotgun shells is a good plan. Hey. Hello! C come over where? Hang on, I think I came for a different direction than you were expecting me to come, because I'm actually over here. Ah, so I'm guessing you were supposed to get into this room first, like normal, if you go the normal way. Then he says, hey, I can give you the code if you let me out or something, so that'd be nice. But I don't need it. I already broke my way in for I am the Mug King. Door control. Open the door. Lovely. Start the extraction process or release the volunteer. Ah, I could have done an extraction process. So I'm guessing I could have like converted this guy into something. To have something good in him in that case. Hang on, I'm just going to glue him. Oh, I can actually slow him down. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. There we go. Down you go. Did you actually? No, he didn't have anything good in him. That's a shame.
No, Jenny, I'm afraid that is where you are wrong. Because the normal rules of humanity and morality do not apply to me. Because as you can clearly see, I am not a human. I am a lamp. Now, one last challenge I've actually been set by the rep from Bethesda here. He said, can I get into this room here? The morgue. How do I get into the morgue? So, door's locked. And... No way to get in via the back, by the looks of it. We've got a med kit here. If I could find the... Hello? No. Oh, will you just leave me alone? I'm trying to solve a puzzle. That's a... Stop it. Stop it. Be glue. There you go. Glue, 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 glue. And batty. It's very, very satisfying to glue them back to them. So, we've got a front door here. If I could find a key code, that'd be fine. But I don't know where, like, the key code is. I don't see any way to get up. We've got... Door on the inside, no sign of... Well, there's air vents in there, but not like the air vents you can like use to to climb through. Doesn't look like there's any grates to open up here. Psychoscope doesn't show me anything either. Computer here is presumably in some way useful. The science operator lets itself into the morgue by the half hour on the dot every day. Shadow it and slip in. Ah! Okay, now that... That's interesting. I just asked Bethesda, that means half an hour in actual proper real time genuinely does. So if I want to wait half an hour, I can just wait half an hour. Now, this thing, this might be providing power to the door. So if I destroy this, now it's producing electricity and the door's not open, but it is electrocuting me. Fine, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake there. Right, so I could repair that, except I actually don't have the repair skill, so I can't. So basically, I've just added a deadly electrical hazard to the level. Marvellous. Now, I could break the window, but there's also the metal bars there. And that means when there's the metal bars, you can't just climb through because they can't be broken. Now, I think I could just break the window and then mimic to turn to one of the small items on the table there. Uh, but I don't really want to do that. I've been using mimic a lot so far. So I could put a small item on the table, break the window, and then kind of clamber through the bars with that. I want to find a different way because I've been told there's like three different solutions. So I'd like to find at least one of those that's not mimicry. Ah, there's a button over there. Okay, the manual release button. I've got a plan. So I've got this Huntress Bowcast thing. It's not actually a crossbow, it's like a kid's toy. It's like a Nerf gun. It just fires like little Nerf bullets, but they can be used to push buttons. So smash the hell out of the window so I can actually shoot through with the Huntress Bowcaster because it can't break the glass. Line up the shot. One thing, and the door opens! Nice, I've got my solution. I forgot that I set off the electrical trap earlier. Ah, <laughs> oh, well done me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much all I've got to show you here, in fact. There might be a bit more kind of tucked away, because, yeah, these levels are really nice and open. But this is Prey, this is coming out, I believe it's right at the beginning of May, and uh, I am impressed. I am hugely impressed. It is, yeah, it's kind of open like Deus Ex. Actually, it feels actually even a little bit more open than the more recent Deus Ex has been. Because the recent Deus Exes, though they are, like, open, technically, you know, they're open, but they're like, you know, you can clearly see it's signpost what you're supposed to do. This feels a bit more organic and kind of rewards discovery and playing around with the glue, for example. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty interested in this one. We may well do a full playthrough of this in time. I'm not sure, but it's very possible we will do. But, yeah. Very impressed. It's cool. It's atmospheric. The writing's great. The voice acting's cool. I'm genuinely interested where the story goes. So yeah, one to watch. I would say maybe we'll have some more Prey in the future. But in the meantime, I've been Jonathan. It's been many a true nerd. And this has been Prey. Thank you very much and goodbye. Here, have a hat. Oh, you don't have a head. I'm sorry. That was really insensitive of me. Oh, I don't want to interface with whatever this is, but all right. Oh god, he's running Windows 8. No bloody wonder it's all gone tits up. Fire extinguisher, if it's a choice between you and me, I'm afraid I'm sacrificing you just FYI.